Today, we're going to look at Google's version of VS Code, IDX. Currently, IDX is still in its experimental stages. You can join the wait lists. IDX allows you to work directly in the cloud. So it doesn't matter what kind of machine you use, IDX will work for you perfectly well. IDX also provides templates that you can use to create, you know, any kind of application like Angular apps, Next.js apps, even Flutter app, backend applications with Python or even Node.js. IDX also lets you build mobile applications for Android, iOS, and web with Flutter. And you also get an emulator in the cloud. And of course, just like everything out there, it also has its own built-in AI assistance. This is the dashboard for IDX. You can see we have all these templates that you can use to build your applications. Currently, you can only build a maximum of two applications at a time. Just click here and it spins up a new instance. So this is a Flutter application. You can run Android emulator right here and it has a startup demo. So you could just try it here. Currently, iOS support hasn't been released yet. But don't worry guys, I'm sure in time they would have rolled out the iOS support. So let's try and change the title here. I can see it makes the changes instantly. And this is a mobile application guys, like you can build mobile applications right here. In a few minutes, I've been able to do all this without Android emulators. And just like VS Code, you can initialize a new Git project, you can publish on GitHub, you can debug your code, you can even install your extensions. These extensions are coming in from OpenVSX, an open source version of VS Code Marketplace. You also have the Flutter extension installed, you can just easily connect it to Firebase. You can start using Firebase services also. If we want to start a conversation with the AI, right? So you can just click on this and once you click it, it opens up another tab for you. You can ask it any question. What if we wanted to build an AI application using a framework like Langchain on IDX? That's super simple. So you just come back to the dashboard and from the dashboard, you're going to click on the Gemini API template over here you get the screen where you have to set up your project. So let's give our project a name and you can choose which of the environments you would like. I'm going to use JavaScript over here and then I'm going to also choose Langchain. Langchain makes it easier to work with LLMs in JavaScript and Python. Cool. And this sets up a whole environment for us now because now we have a built-in terminal in our editor we also have a preview on the web screen, so we can also preview the application inside the same tab. To get the API key for this application, you just need to click on this link over here. This will take you to Google AI Studio. Click on Get API Key. Let's create a new API key. I'm going to get rid of this after the video. Pick a project from your Google Cloud. And then I'm just going to click on this API key over here. So this is going to generate a new API key that we can copy and it's also going to give us a code snippet that we can use whenever we want to test the application but i'm not going to do that so we'll just copy the api key come back into our project go to the env file so we can change this to do and insert our api key let's test the applications let's go into the index.html and let's change the button let's change the text to generate now that we have everything all set up let's click generate and this prompt is going to give us a recipe based on the described images. So you'll have the ability to build full stack or mobile applications right inside your browser. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about IDX. Will you use it in your next project? I'd really love to know. So thanks so much guys for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.